Eat the good things of the Drink the word. Drink the spirit of life. Oh, help us grow, my Thank you. Develop in the mind. Amen. We give you praise tonight. Wonderful.
kupindira mu marembo y'inzaha
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God's Spirit. Glory. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mana Kimana, your I just want to thank God for He's so faithful to us. I'm not here to preach. I think we heard enough and we are still receiving. But a question popped in my mind uh, that they asked Jesus. When they were tempting him, they said there was a woman who was married by a man and he died. And then the brother married her and he died without a child. 
And another one married her until seven. Husbands. And they asked him, so in the resurrection, what wife, whose wife is, he, is she going to be? And Jesus said, You fools. Don't you know that in heaven there is no marrying or getting in marriage? But all will be like angels. <laughs> It is a wonderful thing how the uh, carnal mind, the effect, affections of the flesh, whatever is concerning you and myself will come to pass. There is nothing that will be there that will think of and say, oh, I've been longing for this and now, thank God, I have received it. All the things you've been searching for on this earth, you're not going to find them in heaven if you've been looking for the things of the earth because what's going to be in heaven is going to be beyond what we can expect. For the word of God says, what eyes has not seen, ears have not heard, and that have never Never entered in the hearts of men. Those are what the Lord has prepared for those who will step in those gates. Amen. It is a wonderful word to hear. That is why the word of God tells us in Hebrews. And those uh, who were the heroes in the faith, they chose to live in the tents. For they have understood that they were sojourners in this land because God opened their eyes and they saw a city that was not made by the hands of men. And they said, what's the use of building houses in this world? But their hope was built in heaven. Praise God. Our God is a wonderful God. And it says all of those died without receiving the promise. And they, have received, they haven't received the promise yet. For God wanted them to wait for us. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you remember that, when I remember that, I feel like my hope is renewed. I feel like I'm be being created new again. That's why Paul said what was uh, profitable for me, it has become like a dung of hell for the excellency of knowing Jesus, the Son of God. He is the gate of heaven. Not what they have lying, been lying to people that Mary is the gate. For Jesus said himself, I am the way. And the, life and the truth, and no one can come to my father except he goes through me. Praise God. There is a singer who sang a song, and he said, I have now understood that the the troubles of this world are not to be compared with the promises that we have in heaven. And he said, Beloved, we are the children of God. And uh, what we will look like is not revealed yet. But this we know. When he appears, we shall be like Hallelujah. him. In that heaven, there are not, not going to be any divisions. The world says we will be like, we look like he is. So does Jesus have many bodies? It's only one body. And that is Jesus. And it's Jesus. And that's what we want. <laughs> If we could really get that right, we could leave out some stuff. Let things go. Everything that is hindering us to step into the glory of God. 
Share the fall off and you should think about it and say, what is hindering me to step in, to step up higher? What is binding you that you cannot let go so that you can step up higher and get to see him face to face that day? Oh, we're not going to ask who is Jesus, but we will see him as he is. We want to see him face to face. That is why we need to let anything that is binding us, any filthiness that may hinder us to be there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, thank God there is something God is doing in our lives. Something that can open our eyes to know who we are. We are not just common people. We are the children of God. We have hope of the future. The hope that is not based on what we see here, but the hope that is based on the word of God that was proclaimed by God himself who cannot lie. What we go through today and what we see today, what we hear today, it is not our final goal. There is something bigger, something greater, beyond there is a gate. And the, the word of God says, even angels, they diligently look into those things to see the bride of Christ. To see he will, who will be able to endure the temptations of this world and then overcome. And overcome. We are waiting to be pillars in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What we are laboring for here is not in vain. In this world, there are so many rulers of this world and they can promise you something. When they are running for offices, they always say what they will do and they have their terms and they always leave the office without accomplishing what they have promised. And they always try to find a way and they complain and say, if I had more time, I could have achieved it. But God, oh, he lo the Lord said, and he promised, and his promise came to pass. He gave a sign. He said, it is experience that I go to my father, that I may send you the comforter. And he said, and when he comes, he will take from mine and will give it to you. He will be your power, the power that will help you to overcome. And he will say, guide you safely. And he will reveal the secrets of heaven. And he did it. And when he did it, he gave us extra hope because we know that he did that. We know that even the other promises will come to pass. So heaven is waiting on us if you don't fail. For the promises are for the overcomer. The word of God says, he who overcometh will eat on a hidden manner. I've been wondering, is it the manner that was in York? <laughs> God said, put the manna in the ark as a remembrance. So, are you afraid that it's a small part? It's not going to be enough for all of us? No, it's not that. For Jesus, anyway, he did a, a miracle showing that he could make it greater than more for everybody. So he is able to do the same miracle. For those who lived in the old covenant, he promised them and what promised the, he promised them came to pass and what he's promising us also will come to pass. Hallelujah. They waited for the manna. They carried the manna everywhere. But thank God the true manna came when Jesus came. For he said, your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they are dead. 
said, but he who eats my flesh oh, will never die. You will never die. If you eat his flesh, you will receive the life. That is the life that is with Christ Jesus. That is the promise that is greater upon any other promise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. We have a God, brothers and sisters. We have a mighty God who promised and his promise will never tarry. It is coming soon. It is ours and our children Hallelujah. and children. Oh, I want to thank God to be here tonight. Our God is so faithful. He is a God that can renew us. He can renew our strength and comfort us. He's telling us, be comforted. You heading in the right direction. Thank God we are alive. This is not a dead church. <laughs> oh, so many churches are dead. But I feel life here. I feel life in this place. Ooh, this is a living church. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Can you feel life here? There is life in this place. I feel life and strength in this place. Brother Kinema said something on Thursday. He said, it is possible that we come back in this place without any sin. And he said, it is possible. And I believe it, brother. It is possible. You just need to have a broken heart. And then if you fail, kneel down immediately and repent and ask the Lord to help you. He is still there working. He's an advocate. He's ready to wash you, to purge you, to sanctify you. He is there. He's just waiting for you to acknowledge that you are weak and you need strength to carry on. Just ask him. Tell him, take my hand, O oh Lord. Lift me up. I need to go on. For he is able to give us strength. For he, you can not do anything. But thank God he gave us a comforter. He is our helper. And we have a wonderful shepherd. He is Jesus. Oh, he's such a wonderful shepherd. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Oh, he is a faithful God. I just wanted to thank God tonight. You know, sometimes we argue over useless things and say, oh, I don't like that guy. Anyway, we don't have anything in common. Why should I like him? But then we say we're going to heaven. <laughs> oh, thank God even this problem of languages where we have to interpret, it's going to be over. <laughs> Hallelujah. I look forward to speaking that one language in heaven. The curse of Babel will be lifted up. And we speak one language. The children of God, there will be one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we praise our God in the heavenly language. Hallelujah. It will be the language of the overcomers. Oh, I have hope, brothers and sisters. Oh, there is no use. The youth. You know, we, the, the, all the riches are hidden in these earthly vessels. Imagine. He's hiding his riches into these earthly vessels. And they are the same for every believer. Can you imagine if you take... If you take... A part... And maybe you make a part at your own shape. However you want, you can make it as a shape of man, a shape of a cow, or a, a shape of any regular part. And just use the same gold and the same weight. I'm telling you, if you go and break one and inside they have gold, you break another uh, vessel that is in the shape of a cow and you find, you find gold in there, you're not going to remember the shapes anymore. You're just going to worry about the gold that is inside. 
Imana yaravuze ngo umubunzi abumba ingo nukagomba. God said the potter can make his pot however he wants. Numubunzi because he's a potter. Agombye amamera nina nyinshi. He can give the pot the shape he wants. Akaguha nkeya. So he can give you the shape he wants. Ndumubaza kwa kombunzi. He's not going to ask you. You're not going to ask God why did you make me this way? Ukara is temporary. You're not going to ask God why did you make me short? Harumu God is going to say that is a temporal Harinzu. vessel. You don't need that. Harinzu but yate there kumbu. is a house. Iyo nzu. There is a mansion. Nimwe. It is one mansion. Sometimes I ask question, myself questions. Are we going to have tall people in heaven? Short people, skinny? Extra pounds in heaven? I don't think God is going to allow any jealousy in heaven. <laughs> I don't think you're going to look at somebody and say, Oh, he's so ugly. Look at his nose. No, because God is preparing to us to overcome. Oh, praise his holy name. He is the king of kings. Oh, what a victory we have in him. And the peace he has given us and the life he has given us. Oh, what a hope we have in Christ Jesus. Oh, sometimes we don't really understand it. When we sing that there is no more dying, no more sickness, no more... Sorrows. And then when they sing all those songs and you feel like you are about to die, you keep complaining and say, why do you sing that song and I'm dying right now? But I'm telling you, when um, the corruptible will be swallowed up with the incorruptible, we will ask death, where is thy sting? Persevere, Ooh, persevere, persevere it's brother. Yeah. Victory is coming. It seems it has. I smell it. <laughs> Hallelujah. It seems it has. I smell victory. Oh, there is victory in the camp. Stay in the camp. There is no life anywhere else. Life is in here. Hallelujah. Stay in the camp. Woo, it's in him. It's in Jesus. You're not going to get anything from the world. Ooh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victory in the camp. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Glory. Mm. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. He's coming to a people. The gifts of the Spirit shall manifest in men. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. He's coming to a people that overcome sin. Oh, the gifts of the Spirit shall manifest in men. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. He's coming to a people who have overcome sin. Oh, the gifts of the Spirit will manifest in me. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. The glory of the Lord shall return again. It's coming to a people who have overcome sin. Well, the gifts of the Spirit will manifest in me. Yes, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Well, he's coming to a people who have overcome sin. Oh, the gifts of the Spirit shall manifest in men. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, he's coming to a people who have overcome sin. The gifts of the Lord shall return again. Oh, the glory of the Lord shall return again. Oh, we 
is coming to a people that the land of sin. For the gifts of the Spirit shall manifest in men. The glory of the Lord shall return again. For the glory of the Lord shall return again. For we shall be to a people that the land of sin. The 
Spirit make manifest in me for the glory of the Lord has returned again. Oh, yes, Lord. 
gifts of the Spirit are manifesting in the glory of the Lord has returned again. The glory of the Lord has returned again. It's come to a people who have overcome The gifts of the Spirit may manifest in me. The glory of the Lord has returned again. The glory of the Lord has returned again. It's come to a people who has overcome sin. The gifts of the Spirit made manifest in men. The glory of the Lord has returned again. The glory of the Lord has returned again. Oh, it's come to a people who have overcome sin. The gifts of the Spirit made manifest in men. The glory of the Lord has returned again. The glory has returned again it's come to a people who has overcome sin the gifts of the spirit made manifest in men the glory of the lord has returned again the glory of the lord has returned again it's come to a people who has overcome sin the gifts of the spirit made manifest in men the glory of the lord has returned again the glory of the lord has returned again it's come to a people who have overcome sin the gifts of the spirit made manifest in men the glory of the lord
<laughs> Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, Lord. You know, I'm glad uh, this is more than just a feeling, but I'm really thankful Amen. for the feeling. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, I have been wondering for a long time. I'm nervous to ask anybody because it's, I'm pretty sure this is everybody already knows this. Sometimes words just don't click very well in my mind. <laughs> and I never <laughs> <laughs> and I never could understand. <laughs> Why he said that I'm gonna send you a comforter. <laughs> and I understand what that is. When he said the comforter, that word didn't make sense to me. It's, it's not really made sense to me. <laughs> but I thought back when we were out on the boat. A hundred miles out of the sea or however far it was, terrified, big waves, and we're in a, well, I thought it was a big boat, but it wasn't a big boat compared to the waves. And we came upon these gigantic oil rig ships. They weren't even moving, and the waves were just, just casting tall. And they were just steady. They weren't moving. <laughs> And when I saw them boats, I felt comforted. <laughs> because I thought, well, if I fall off this boat, maybe I can get to that boat. And I know that boat is not going to sink. It's going to take a big way to sink that boat. So I'm sitting back here and showing the wonderful spirit of God that's coming down right now because of this message. If you haven't figured it out, God really likes this because it was his message. But I was sitting back there and thinking, oh, and I said, well, okay. I was going back over what you said this morning. Thinking, you know, we've got the Spirit of God. You know, we got the Spirit of God. Gave us life. But, you know, we lose that life because we can sin. But he's a comforter. Why? And this is what came to mind. Now, because now that you have this, you should be comforted in your mind that through this power, you don't have to die That's the comfort. That's the comfort. It's your choice. Now, y'all may have already known that, but for some reason, that just, just I knew, I knew that the Holy Ghost and the, the Word of God joined together with you know, your will would make you an overcomer, but just think about the comfort. So, so to back that up, if you don't think that we can make right now, if you don't think that you can overcome right now, then the Holy Ghost is not very comforting to you. That's just what I got. If you don't believe it, then, then you're not very comforted because it'd be like knowing that that ship was there, but somebody said, you cannot get to that ship. The ship is comforting, but you can't get there. Let me tell you, today, we can get there. We can get there. So, that's really just all I had on my mind. But I just want to share that, and I'm just, I'm so thankful that I have got the comfort. Um, and I don't have to die. Amen. Hallelujah.
Amen. Ati ndetse ijambo ry'Imana rivango ni wazonshingira ntahe. Hallelujah. Uh, that song that uh, Brother Paul and Sister Brittany and Sister Bragg played uh, before the end of the first service to overcome. Uh, the first line always gets me, I'm worthy of your blessings that you've shown to me. That right there means a lot to me. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, get on the same channel everybody's saying, but I'm, that just have come over since the morning service for me. Uh, I have been singing that song for a, a couple of weeks now, and every time me and Brother Cameron, we're, we, you know, we kind, we kind of live together. We don't live together. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not there. But when he's there, sometimes we're talking, and that song just, we start singing that song, and makes me realize how unworthy I am of his blessing. He's been such a good God, a merciful God. Um, this week. Uh, it's been, it has been raining a lot naturally outside, but it has been also raining spiritually. Because of the rain, I was able to go to the minister's meeting, and I got to learn a lot of charity and a lot of grace. <laughs> I learned that a lot. <laughs> and I was sitting next to Brother Perry, and Brother Perry just leaned over and talked to me and said some things that, that worry me. As a young man, there's just still some things I don't understand. And he just leaned over me and said some things, and I felt, like Brother Andrew say, I feel comfort. I'm glad for our ministry that we had. And, you know, I, a lot of people, a lot of y'all really don't know this about me. Some, some of the youth does, but I am very picky with my food. Very picky. And the days that, the, both the, all the days that we were out there eating, I would look over at the menu and I would say, oh man, I don't think that's going to be good. <laughs> I was like, I can feel it's not going to be good. And Brother Luke will say, just try it. Just try it. And, you know, I were lying. I was like, oh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Oh, Lord. And one, and one of those times we were sitting down, and my dad rebuked me right there and then. He said, you know, Brother Luke just to teach. Whatever you eat, go. You eat everything. No matter what they give you. You like it, you don't like it. I'm glad that I have a dad that does that too. That rebuked me for that. that I didn't even, because I saw it, I didn't even like it. But you know what? I'm glad I got a taste of this Holy Ghost. You can feel the Holy Ghost right now. And I like it. I love it. My brother Andrew said, we get comfort here. And the other day, God really woke me up. I was, I was asleep. We have come back from the meeting Friday night. And I, uh, by the way, surprised or not, every day for the meeting I was early because of my dad and brother Perry. The meeting didn't start until 10 o'clock, but my dad and brother Perry were up at 5 o'clock. I was like, Lord, please let me sleep some more. But I'm glad for that. I got examples for that too. As well. <laughs> and this scripture came, came into my mind earlier. Um, just. Because I, 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 the Lord woke me up and I was like, I, 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 I never my, Cameron knows this about this, uh, about this now. <laughs> hey, my parents and my mom, uh, my mom and my dad know about this. A train could pass by and I'd be asleep. Nothing can wake me up. <laughs> so, <laughs> when something wakes me up in the middle of the night, it has to be the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing. It's just, that's the way it's coming out. Uh, he says in Psalms 24 and 3, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? <laughs> he that had clean hands and a pure heart. Brother Bragg was talking about that today. You know, you can wash that and have a pure, you can purify yourself. Is that song? That song that we sing, I love that song. Lord, Lord, please purify my heart. Cleanse me in this very inward part, Lord. He said, who that not lift up his soul unto falsehood. Brother Bragg was talking about that too. Uh, it was a false church. And there was a truth church. You know, I'm glad we're able, I'm able to see this, that this is the true church. The Lord, it's guiding, it's, in, it's linear. <laughs> and who not so deceitfully. 
he shall receive a blessing from the Lord. You know, we have seen that today. We have received many blessings from God right now. When our brothers move in, when our sisters move in, the Lord just drink that meal that Brother Brad gave us, uh, gave us today, this morning, the Lord just bringing down some water so we can pass that. I don't know if I'm out, but when I'm eating, I need something to drink because that stays there. Sometimes getting my chest don't work. I need water. I need to live. And he shall receive grace from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek after him, that seek that face, even Jacob. It's what Brother Greg was talking about. And I might be a little bit out of channel, and I do apologize. I'm still learning. But I just want to get on my feet and give God thanks for everything that he's done. And I'm glad I was able to go to that ministry meeting and learn all that I did. Well, I don't want to get in the way of anybody, but I sat here for a long time. Before even Brother Antonis got up, I, I felt like running, and I just I sat here and sat here. Uh, and I don't know if I got the scripture right, but what came to me was, you know, there was some, were they lepers outside the camp, and the enemy left, and they said there was food to eat, but they just weren't sure if they wanted to go in there, but there was just all this food right there in front of them. All they had to do was go eat, and that's the way I felt. If I'll do what you want me to do, Lord, I'll be fed, whether it's right or whether it's scream or cry or dance or whatever. If we're just willing to do what he wants us to do, we will be fed. I'm just so thankful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, no, Kuri Venedata, Imana Yachuni Man and Ziza. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, I just want to give God all the praise and everything and the oh, blessing that He has done, restored in my, so, oh, my soul and everything. And I just feel like jumping and running and praising God too. Just jumping in that water and giving him a little taste of the Lord. And I just want y'all to keep on praying for me that I might go strong and do the Lord. I just want y'all to keep on praying for me that I might go strong and do the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I would just like to give honor to the Lord uh, and the saints of this body of Christ. God is a good God. And the scripture just kept going in my mind about he did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love of a sound mind. Um, I've been going through a lot the past year, but the last couple of months has been really, really bad. When you get news saying that you got a health issue and the word cancer comes up. You want to have fear, but I just kept believing my trust is in the Lord. And I called my family, let them know, and they kept praying. So I just want to give a praise report. I went up there a couple weeks ago. I didn't tell them what was wrong, but Brother Brad kept saying there was a word, and he's in positioning. And... I just, just like Sister Melissa Kenimer said, you just got to give it and taste it. And I'm like, Lord, I'm willing, whatever it is. And I've been going through a, pl a spot in my life where I know I trust the Lord. I trust with all my heart, with all my might, with all my strength. I love him. I know I do, but there's still something in there I have to overcome. And <laughs> he said, denounce sin, denounce religion, denounce these things in your life. So I want to know, I want to love him, and I want to be a, a, a part of the body of Christ, of this kingdom of God, and know that the gospel message of Jesus Christ is true. His word is perfect, and his word is true. I believe that with all my heart. But like I said, <laughs> brother... Brag, you don't know. The teachings that you've given us, this is gold, this is silver. This is what I want and I need. And I tell my children, 
face of Lisa Did you hear what Brother Brad said? Did you hear what he said? We've got to do this and we can't overcome. We don't have to can. There's no can in this. It's like there's always that money that says there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying. But there's a I can't. I can't. And my testimony tonight is sure. I believe in the word of God. I believe it is true. It's perfect. It's the word of God. And I know I stand before you with a living testimony. The biopsy that it took. No cancer. Praise the Lord. No cancer. So I think this is what I can say for a couple of seconds. Well, when I got to call Monday, I know, I know, I just said, praise the Lord. I called my sister, I text her, my kids, and they just, praise the Lord, that's great news. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is our deliverer, he is our healer, he is our strength when we need that. He said to call upon me in the time of trouble. That's who I know I call. My mother put that in our lives. It's to call on the name of the Lord. Those that call on all the name of the Lord. They shall be saved. They shall be saved. And I praise the Lord for this experience in this life, this journey of life that we have in this kingdom of God. And his gospel message, it is true. I appreciate the Lord tonight. I appreciate you all that are here, that are staying true and steadfast. And I thank the Lord for that song that the overcomer and Sister Bragg, that song that it's been a couple of weeks, it's been on my mind all the time. Do you have a heart that's pure? And the spirit, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know it all, but I always try to sing it to kids. And I always say, that's what I want inside. That spirit that will endure, I want that. I want to overcome it. I know I can. Praise the Lord. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Young people. Amen. Glory. And Sister Sarah. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Sarah. Mm. Mm. Young people. <clears throat> Y'all are to sing the background on the course. That's what you sing. The background, Sister Sarah. Hey, Amen. I 
Nadia com o Kid, eu sou o Mira com o Kid, eu sou o Ele é da Seca, ele tá com esse caminho, não sou ninguém da força, feliz, feliz, força. Conhece, Nadia, sou o Mira, 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 あららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあららあらら
usually get Hallelujah. to come at night. I guess that's going to need to change. Um, I got to go to this uh, meeting this last week, and it was good, and it was good for me. Um, there were some good things. Um, I'll tell you some of the things I got the most out of it, just, just being around the brethren, just talking to different, different ones. I, uh, I'm introverted, so I don't really introduce myself to a lot of people, but my brother is not introverted. <laughs> and uh, I was on this trip with him, <laughs> so he helped some of that. Um, I kind of look at him, he's one of those stamps you dip in and ink, and leaves an impression. Mine's ah. dry, his is very wet. Um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, share some things. Uh, we were talking to Brother Driver, and uh, John was kind of letting him know how frustrated he was with some of the ministry. And, uh, and Brother Driver looked at him and said, can I share something with you? He goes, yeah. He said, All right, one, a while back, that's probably years past, he was at a minister's meeting, and there was two brothers sitting across from each other at a table, standing up, nose to nose, yelling at each other at a minister's meeting. And he saw that, and it disappointed him. And he said, well, that's the way that minister is supposed to be. And he saw that, and it disappointed him. And he said, well, that's the way that minister is supposed to be. And he said, well, that's the way that minister is supposed to be. And he said, well, that's the way that minister is supposed to be. Lord, how am I supposed to follow that? He said, there are ministries over the years. I'm supposed to follow that. And the Lord told him, would you rather be deceived or disappointed? So these men were showing themselves. So there was no lie that you could see exactly how our spirit was. So I would rather be disappointed than have somebody deceive me. So I believe that helped my brother. He accepted that. Um, but we were uh, hanging out with a brother that the brothers been going to church with in Grand Bay. And, uh, he's a good brother. He's a real gentle, big, big guy. Um, but John told him that I'm good at explaining dreams. So he told me a dream he had. And uh, I'll tell the dream and I'll, I'll go through and tell you what the Lord kind of gave me on it. Um, so he's, he's standing in a green field. Okay. And um, there's some women in the field and they, they maintain it. They maintain the field. And there's a valley on the other side of the field. Um, and it's got white tents lined all the way down this valley. They're touching all the way down. And they're all empty. And he's standing there, and there's a bunch of young men running towards him as hard as they can. And, uh, he recognizes one of them. He was a brother that uh, was in a church at one time, and he was a real sincere, gentle brother. And some got crossed with him in the past, or something got thrown out. But he just remembered he was a real sincere, gentle man. Anyway. So they're all running as hard as they can. To I'm, those tents, okay? I'm trying to think if there's anything else, any other details. He's just observing all this. And he had this year, it was three years ago. It wasn't like this a couple weeks ago, it was probably 30 years ago. And I guess he never told anybody here, got any kind of uh, clarification on it. And I didn't really get clear right up front, but I got to think it on it. I feel like the Lord gave me some help on it. So we're in this field, this green field here. This is a very life-giving field. If we were to go outside this field, it would look brown, no life. But we're in a very green field here. And this church, this woman, is maintaining that field. If we don't bring our lives, this could be a brand new thing. But we're maintaining this thing. And those young men, oh, the tents, they're all white tents stuck together and all the east to west. That's our bodies we're trying to get. We're trying to get those white tents. And the reason why they're tents is because we're going to be following the lamb where he goes. If we can't get it down, we got to be able to pull up and go. So, I mean, that's why it's tent. Israel was that way in the wilderness. They had to have tents. So, we got a great little tent in the wilderness. And the men, 
Uh, Brother Bragg, can, can you hear me? All right. Uh, I just, uh, you know, Brother Mitchell, that was wonderful, what you just gave. Where is he at? Oh, hi. That was really good, what you just gave. And I, Brother Bragg, I just want to say I'm, I'm more than blessed to be a part of this people. To even know this people, to have come across you in my life, in my life. I'm more blessed than, than I, I feel I'm more blessed than anybody in here, honestly, because I wasn't even supposed to know about you. How was I, of all people, supposed to know God's body, God's people? Some, and, you know, I'm not, this isn't, this isn't people that have already been here all your life. No, this is, you understand what I'm talking about. Brother Bragg, you understand what I'm talking about. To come in here at this season that we're in right now, knowing that what's about to happen, God has put me right in the middle of it. He's placed me in his people because he called me to do something. He, call, he has a purpose in this body for me individually and you. Individually. You know, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I can't tell you how I'm so emotional about it. Brother Bragg, I've been emotional about it all week. You know, I found out my best friend's got the Holy Ghost, by the way. My best friend, who I've, he's been my best friend for 14 years. I found out he's got the Holy Ghost, Brother Brad. I started telling him about the Godhead the other day, and he said, the way my mom talked about it, I want to get him in here. I want to get all my friends in here. I've got lots of friends that are in religion. I, I love them. They're, they're family to me in a way. And I want to see him in here. I, I want to see him get saved, you know. When I say get saved, I don't just mean a personal salvation experience in God out in Pentecost. I mean, to be truly saved, you have to be like Jesus. And that, that's the message that we teach. And I want to see that. I want, I want people I know. I want, I want, I want to, that's one prayer I have. I want to see it fulfilled. I want to know what I'm saying. That's a desire. I desire to see people I love come in this and get it like I've come. And I would venture to say that God might have brought me here so I could get them here. 
yanzanye ikampinda nibyo byinshi nkikeneye guhindura ariko ni cyo yanzanye hanyu ega ntiyanzanye ko numugorose yanzanye kugira ngo ngume mpinda uyu munsi nibyo ndakora kwa kane sinshobora kuza gusenga kwa kane ariko ndashima imana ko ise nuwo mungu kashobora kuba kumwishengero ry'imana mu gitondo no kumugorose oh rekana babyinye kuri ndanezwe as soon as i hung on the phone i said yes i could go to church and i was so thrilled about it but i was so and I've never, I've never felt that way. I'm sorry, I mean, maybe when I first came around, but I've never felt that way before. It's not the people around you that ought to make you love God more. It's just the Spirit of God in you that ought to make you love God more. It ought to give you more zeal and more passion for Him. It's not about the people around you. I come because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to because I know that this is where I go to Well, if you're all waiting on me, I don't, I don't have a lot I could add to what's been said oh, today mean what's that happened time today. See every um, but I appreciate Illinois. what's happened today. It, uh, I appreciate Chicago. But the, the song, the very first song we started off with, that, that song that does something inside of you, Bob. <laughs> uh, that, that first line, let my praise be a reflection of your grace. I was, I was thinking about that. And, uh, you, can, you, you can use that a couple of ways. You know, the praise that you're giving God can be a reflection of his grace. But then also... The praise that others give you, that's my praise, right? But what am I going to do with it? Jesus said, there's none good from the Father. So we, we just have to let that praise go on. And we got to let them know why you're in the position you're in. So I, you know, God's grace is wonderful. I want to make sure that we can make sure that we can and the message that we heard today. Uh, I know growing up in this body of people, my younger years, you heard a lot about overcoming when I was young. But you know it wasn't mixed with grace and mercy very much. And you know that's dangerous because what that'll do is, as a young person, you hear overcoming. And so you try to overcome. You try to do right, and then you fail. You try harder, you fail. And that can get very disheartening. 
Because it's not mixed with the message of mercy and grace. Uh, I know Brother Brandon has been talking about overcoming a lot. Mount Carmel, we're on the same page. And but he's trying to mix plenty of mercy and grace in there. You know, it's important to know that while you're striving to overcome, that when you fail, you're not a failure. Unless you fail to take it to Christ and repent. <laughs> That's the only time you're a failure is when you fail to take it to him and repent. And so we have to do that all the time, every day, and we can't do it on our own. <laughs> so when, when we, we, we get in ourselves, we can't do it. But as long as we're staying in him, and since for Christ all things are possible. So I guess that's when we step inside the gate of when we step into Christ, we start, we start living life eternal. And that's where we want to stay. Uh, the next thing is the song that he was talking about. The gifts of the Spirit. I've been hearing that all night. Brother Stephen, what's your name? Right? Yes, sir. Brother, what he's done. <laughs> He, I mean, these people are talking, and he's talking. He's interpreting and hearing what they're saying at the same time. I have a hard time hearing something while I'm being quiet. You know? And he's just... That's a gift from God. That's a gift of the Spirit. <laughs> I don't see how it's possible. It's a miracle. Uh, but I'm just saying, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys are listening to it. I'm thankful for y'all. I'm thankful for the Spirit that's here. I'm thankful for my daughter. Being here. I know I've said that before. But I'm I haven't changed my mind. In fact, I'm more convinced. I'm more convinced. I appreciate y'all taking good care of her. Loving her. I know she loves you. Yeah. Thank God you just been good to me. 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 And um, we started this restaurant seven years ago. Uh, I probably said this before, but, you know, God's, there's only one way to find out if you can trust somebody. Trust him. The only way to find out. There's no other way to find out if you can trust somebody except trust him. And that's the only way we can find out if we're going to trust God. Well, seven years ago, we decided to trust God. And we decided to trust God. I've been through hard things. 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 I've been through hard we just moved to a different location. And God, God's blessed our move. And our cup's been full and overflowing with customers. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I mean, help us cope. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> I don't want it to stop. <laughs> When we was getting ready to move, speaking of, you know, that song, let, let, our praise be a let our praise be a reflection of your grace. 
We have people that come to our restaurant every day, sometimes two or three times a day. And whenever we were getting ready to move to the new building, the, one of the ladies that comes in almost every day, she said, well, how do you feel about leaving this place? I said, it's just a restaurant. Oh, no, she goes, this isn't just a restaurant. And what she was talking about is the feeling that's there. People all the time come in, they say, it's peaceful. And, it's, and uh, we have very many, like, faithful, kind of everyday customers. And, and they love it, and they love the feeling that they have. And, you know, it's, it's all just love. It's because of his grace and his mercy. It doesn't mean everything goes right all the time. But everything goes right all the time. I just want to get up and tell you all I really appreciate you. I love you. I love the spirit that's here. I love the spirit that's here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I just like to tell you about the girls from Mount Carmel. They have been such a blessing to our church. When Brother Jesse married Sister Sarah, and Sister Sarah closed your ears and you want you to get exalted. But, but uh, when she came, she just fit in this church immediately. And she has just done everything she could to be a part, uh, obedient. I think she's a very obedient wife. I don't know what everybody else thinks, but that's what I think. And I feel like that there's not been a time that I've ever asked her to sing when she's coming up. And I mean, that's that's, that's an accomplishment right there. And because not everybody wants to sing every time. But she'll just sing within and everybody. And I appreciate that, Sister Sarah. I really do. And Sister Abby, I tell you, Brother Ken, you have got one more wife. I'm telling you, she's coming here. And she's, uh, been in the, she's right off the bat, you know, a youth leader's wife. And um, she came to me one time and she asked me, why does the women have to put their hair up? And she said, it's not that I don't want to. It's not that I won't. I just want to understand it. And I explained it to her. And it was never, she never argued. She never, I mean, the next service, she had her hair up. And she wears her hair up. Y'all see her hair up. I mean, the obedient. And I want to tell you to tell Brother Peach, thank you for sending such good women to our church because they have really been helpmates to their husbands. And we appreciate you because we know you had a hand in it too, you and your wife. Amen. Glory.
That's my desire, oh Lord, to have a pure heart. Oh Lord, I understand your will. Amen. Well, this Move has been command. really rich. Hallelujah. Uh, this weekend, Hallelujah. we can divide. Thank the Lord for all our company. Uh, Brother Worth here. Uh, uh, Brother Garcia, glad to meet you. His wife. And, uh, who else? Um, it seemed like there was someone else. Oh, yeah, the new couple. Yeah, headed north pretty quick. Brother Pete said, "Hey, man, it's about time." <laughs> <laughs> appreciate them being here with us. Amen. I appreciate the Lord in this vision. And I'm just thinking, as Brother Worth mentioned this about Brother Septim, he preaches every service. <laughs> every service. Mm. And so does some of these other interpreters. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you realize that how many countries this is going out to when you're talking. Going out to, you know, we forget about it once in a while. And it's more of them being added nearly every week, every day. People is tapping into this wondering, where have y'all been? It's been here. And it takes God to open the gate, open the door for you to see. But once he does, step through the gate. Eternal home. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brother Sosa and them, they preach. His wife preaches, whoever. Who? Sister Anna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, several of them here uh, are preaching. But, uh, I, I want to tell you, I appreciate the effort, and there's hundreds and thousands of people benefiting by your efforts here. So I want to tell you, I appreciate it, You're getting in contact with more people all the time. And some of these men have churches, some of them large churches. And I just met Brother Ferguson, he told me that there was a group that he's with also that um, he thinks would like to have what we had. It's yet to be seen whether they like it or not. <laughs> but um, 
We'd like to put it out there to whoever we want. Let him come and taste it and see that the Lord is good. Drink of the wells of living water. And find comfort. Rest for your soul. Or, um, what else do I need to mention? Uh, pray for Brother Mike um, Nielsen there in Tyler. Lost his wife last week. Uh, Sister Gill lost Brother Gill, and Brother Gill was instrumental in going with Brother Young over to Burundi. Mm -hmm. uh, how many years ago? Ten years. Ten years ago. And I, every time I'd call him, I'd remind him that the work's going on, people are getting this vision, and he's a part of it. I reminded him Amen. of that several times. Uh, so they'll have the memorial service for him sometime soon. Don't know when that's going to be, but let's be praying for Sister Gill, uh, my wife. She's got some tests that she's uh, waiting to hear from. Uh, who else? Anyone else? Yes, Brother Scott. Lord Hill. Okay. All right. Uh, Brother Pierce. All right. Let's remember that. Um, who's that? Brother, yeah, Brother Charles Ashby and his wife. Yes. James Bud. All right. Let's pray for Brother Bud. He used to be here with us. God would touch him. Yes. Paul Park. Paul Park. All right. Let's remember him. Yes. All right. Job. Yes. Oh, my. I didn't know that. All right. Let's remember with a dam. Yes. Another one back there. All right. All right. Yes. All right. Let's remember them. Brother Phillips, father. Philip Kimmer's father. And the, Brother Ray Martin's family. Yes. Yes. All right. That's a load. All right. Let's remember Brother Kenimer. God would touch him. Unspoken, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to come into your kingdom, for allowing us to eat of that bread from heaven, 